I'm going to tell you everything you need to know to clear and keep from getting a crime stat, and we're starting right now. I better get a medal for taking you down. Thank you so much to all the support from patrons, channel members, and Twitch subscribers that make this possible. Welcome to A Star Citizen's Guide to the Galaxy. This is Subliminal here, and today I have something different for you because I'm kind of tired of reviewing ships, to be honest. Recently, I found myself on the other side of the law more often than I'd like, either while trying to get the 50 PvP kills required to get the Vandal Mask, or from bugs like the UEE randomly attacking me during CS bounty hunting missions for no reason. I've always played Star Citizen as a good player, fighting the bad guys, but this is getting old and the naughty missions are something I've really wanted to get into. And although I have been playing Star Citizen for a while, the process has certainly become more fleshed out as of late. So today I'll show you everything I've learned from where to buy crypto keys, to hacking comma rays, to completely removing your crime stat from UEE records. Let's first briefly discuss the crime stat system. There are many ways to get a crime stat in Star Citizen. While naming all of them is beyond the scope of this guide, there's attacking other players, trading controlled substances, had ramming, homicide, and not stopping to be searched by the UEE. And then there's a slew of bugs that can surround these mechanics that could put you on the wrong side of the law unjustly. Your crime stat can range from 0 to 5, with 5 being the worst. It is displayed by this avatar surrounded by a circle that is dissected into fifths. Level 1 and 2 crime stats have minimal repercussions. You can be attacked on site by the UEE or any players nearby, and landing safely at spaceports other than Grimhex or Levski will be a problem. At this stage, dying would only land you a small stint at Klesher. Level 3 is the first level that will alert player bounty hunters with a mission to take you out. This is where things get dangerous. The value on your head continues to rise as your crime stat increases. And at the final stage, level 5, not only would another player be awarded something like 20,000 Alpha UEC for killing you, but you'll have to do it with the full force of the UEE on your back. And they'll be sporting the lights of vanguards and possibly even a hammerhead. And if they kill you, you'll be looking at around an 18 hour sentence at everyone's favorite rehabilitation center. Alright, let's discuss how to do criminal activities and avoid a crime stat. The first step to either hacking a comma ray or hacking your crime stat is to purchase a crypto key. These can be purchased from a multitude of locations, but today I'll be showing you two main locations. Personally, I prefer Technotic at Grimhex because all but one card can be purchased there. Either that or the factory line at New Babbage because the fastest and most reliable crypto key can be found there. To find Technotic, head over to Grimhex. Once here, head towards the elevator and take it down to the main concourse. Once down here, make a left and head towards the hallway with the red neon light. Follow this corridor and enter the first door on your right. This is Technotic. All but the ice pick can be purchased here. As for the factory line, head to New Babbage on Microtech. After you've left the hangars, head towards the Metro Loop. Go down these stairs, through Customs, and take an elevator up to the Metro Loop. Go down this hall towards the tram system. We want to go to the Commons. Take the tram and get off at the first stop. Head up the stairs and up the stairs again. Follow signs to the New Babbage Plaza and keep straight. Head down this beautiful flight of stairs, get off on the first level, and the most expensive crypto key, the Ice Pick, can be found here for 1600 Alpha UEC. Crypto keys range in price from 199 Alpha UEC for the Walesco to the $1600 Ice Pick we just bought from New Babbage. Choosing what crypto key to purchase depends on the situation. Are you working with a low budget? How high is your crime stat? What is the risk if you die and go to prison right now? Personally, I keep 5 Olescos, 5 Rippers, and 5 Ice Picks on me at all times. I use the Walescos for lower crime stats or for loaning to other citizens who may need help, and the Rippers and Ice Picks for high crime stat levels or when the risk of dying is too great. So what are the differences between those keys you ask? Well, crypto keys can fail. While hacking, you may need to hit a continue button that could distract you from people or NPCs that may be trying to kill you and the hacking process can take some time. So naturally, the less expensive keys will be more prone to fail, need constant interaction, and take more time to hack. And the more expensive keys can be plugged in, left alone, and hack much faster. 
I'm excited to announce a new art series, Vessels of the Verse. This will be the first of many designs that will be released alongside buyer's guides and loadout guides. They will be available on display in 48 hours, on the merch store in 24 hours, desktop wallpapers are available right now to Twitch subs, patrons, and YouTube channel members, and mobile wallpapers are available for free via link in the description. Now that we have our crypto keys, let's discuss how to stay off the UEE's radar. You can do this by hacking a comma ray. Comma rays can be found orbiting around major planets and star citizens. Once hacked and powered down, you and any other nearby players are free to commit crimes without the worry of raising your crime stat, so long as you're not near any UEE security forces when you commit that crime. In addition, anyone with a level 3 crime stat or higher will disappear from a bounty hunter star map and HUD. These side effects stay in effect until someone restores the comma ray. This can be done by accepting a mission that goes live for everyone once the hack has been started. To hack a Comoray, first ensure that you have the desired crypto key stored in the utility slot on your armor. Also, note that just being in the area of a Comoray is enough to be charged with trespassing. This crime will get you a level 1 crime stat. Once you are near the terminal, click 4 on your keyboard to equip your key. Insert it into this slot on the terminal. The terminal will automatically initiate and attempt to access the system. You'll see a progress bar with five steps. After each step, there is a chance your progress can be halted. You have 90 seconds to click continue or the process will fail and you'll need to start over with a new key. How long this halting occurs and how long it takes for the bar to fill depends on the chip you purchased. Just wait and keep an eye out for players attempting to stop you. After this process completes, you can exit the crypto key and go ahead and disconnect the uplink. And that's it. System powering down. You'll notice the satellite link icon has disappeared off your HUD. You are free to do as you wish without the risk of gaining additional crime stat. This effect only applies to the major planet and nearby moons in your area. Okay, so you proceeded to assault a UEE security officer that decided to spend five minutes scanning your arrow for contraband that you couldn't fit in your ship even if you wanted to. And now you have a crime stat. You, you found the error of your ways and you want to wipe this slate clean. As far as I know, there are two methods, hacking security post Korea or raiding one of the three planet side security facilities. The first, Security Post Korea, is located outside of Selen, a moon of Crusader. The second type of location can be found on planets or moons, and as far as I know, there are three. Security Depot Lyria 1 on Lyria, a moon of Artcorp. MR Data Center 4HJLVEA can be found on Microtech. And Security Depot Hurston 1 is on the surface of Hurston. Each of the two types of locations has their own set of risks associated with them. Let's first discuss the more popular Security Post Korea. This one is the easiest to access, but it's also one more likely to encounter a player. Once you arrive, land on the pad and exit your ship. Head inside and watch for players and NPCs. If there are NPCs, you'll want to clear them all out. Keep your head on a swivel, but remember time is of the essence. Hacking this terminal is the same as the Comoray. Stay nearby, click the button if necessary, and cover your entry points. You should also know that once this process is started, other lawful players will get a mission on their Moby Glass to prevent the hack. Once the hacking process is complete, you can begin expunging your record of the crimes you've committed. I recommend relieving the more serious crimes first, as they will lower your crime stat to a level that could remove you from another player's bounty hunting roster. Once you pick one, you'll have the option of choosing a reason for removing this crime. Your choice of a reason doesn't seem to have any effect at this point in Star Citizen's development. I like to plead insanity. Once chosen, you'll get a progress circle. The length of time it takes to expunge depends on the severity of the crime. Try to get an idea of how long this will take and resume covering yourself if need be. Having another player here to cover you can be beneficial, and if they don't have a crime stat, they can be a meat shield that could cause another player to hesitate. Also, once the criminal has started the process, anyone can continue it. Once you have cleared your criminal record of all crimes, your crime stat is clear and you are free to continue your adventures in the verse without fear of being hunted by players or the UEE. The second and final method of hacking your crime stat away is to raid a surface facility. I mentioned the three locations earlier and for this example, I'll head to Lyria because who goes around Area 18 anyway, right? I hate that place. 
The ground security facilities will surely provoke confrontation from NPCs, but due to these facilities charging citizens with trespassing violations, they will also be the ones that are least likely to involve player interference. Once you arrive at the security outpost, you have two choices. One, you can dispatch of the four or five turrets surrounding the facility. The difficulty of these turrets varies from patch to patch, but as for now, they give you some trouble, but nothing my Vanguard couldn't handle, especially since they can be targeted now. If you're in a fragile ship, you may want to take option two and simply take cover behind a hill, or in this case, some well-placed rocks, and head in on foot. The turrets only seem to target ships, so this is the safest route. If you've done bunker missions before, this is very simple. Head down the elevator. Once you reach the subsurface level, dispatch of any enemies. I recommend using silenced weapons as the AI seem to be more oblivious to your presence more often than not. While you're on the first level, look down to the lower levels to scoop up some easy kills from above. Once this level is clear, head down to the lower level and clear out any remaining security forces. If you didn't have much of a crime stat before, well, you do now, as well as a bounty on your head. Head down this hallway and into this room. To our left is the terminal you can use to hack your crime stat away. Operating this terminal is exactly the same as the others. Insert the key, wait for the hack, expunge your record, and you're free. You may want to bring a cold suit for this one because the room system is clearly broken here. If you forget, you can head into the next room to get some relief. What did you guys think of this guide? Did I miss some locations where crime stats can be hacked? Would you like to see more guides like this from the channel? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoy my channel, there are so many ways to support it, ranging from free options like Prime gaming subscriptions and sending out for UEC in the verse, sub club subscriptions, merch, to more generous forms of support. Head over to subliminalschannel.tv to learn how. Your support in all forms makes this channel possible. Even your viewership, liking, and subscribing goes a long way. To continue watching, here's a video I think you may like. Here's a video YouTube thinks you may like. And until next time, citizens, I'll see you in the verse.